Okay, I am back in Worlds of Wonder, and we're going to hope that the storm doesn't take the power out. We'll see. But anyway, um, I am back with these peacocks, and I've gone ahead and done some work here, and then some of it is not done. So let's go in here. Um, what I had questioned in the last video was what to do with this. So we're just going to take colors at a time and go for it. This is um, teal green, and it is the lighter of my teals. And I'm going to put it right through here. Okay. And what this basic first coat is doing is placement. Okay, so I'm not finished with that yet. And then this is my lighter of my blues that I'm going to use. And this is true blue. And let me go ahead and zoom this in a little for you. And this one is going to come right here. Now, notice I'm going real light in this area. That's because this is the transition area where we're going to be going from the blues to the teals. That's why I went ahead and put just a little bit of that light teal down there first, just to get us going. And then now I'm going to go darker. I'm heavy handed, so this darker area for me is a whole lot easier. All right, now I'm going to move over to indigo. So this is my darker blue. It's the one that's got a little bit of purple base to it. And it's going to go right here. Okay. Did that on both sides, just right there. Then I'm going to come back to this teal and we're going to go on down and finish going all the way. And then blending in with that blue coming back up. See how well it transitions? Just because we started with it, then went to the blue, and then back to the teal. And then this is regular teal. So this one's going to be a little bit darker. And this is where I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to come up. Just coming up. Lighter handed as I come up. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I did have post-op two-week appointment today. Two weeks was yesterday. Appointment was today. And um, told the doctor, I said, I got questions about this hernia surgery that we did, or that you did in my body. He goes, yeah. I said, so was it actually six new hernias? Or was it six total, including, you know, counting what you fixed from before? And he goes, oh, no, it was six. He said, I said, so one piece of mesh in the whole gut or several smaller spread around? And he said, one. I'm going to come in with that blue again just a bit. And so I said, um, okay. He said when he got in there with the robotics, because they were able to expand my stomach, they could see that my lining was just really thin and he was going to have problems even stitching the mesh to it, going back to my lightest of the teals. And so he said he knew it was going to take a big piece and just a lot of careful stitches to get it to adhere right. So anyway, there's, there's the long and short of that. He did say that I am welcome now, the lighter of the two blues, to go ahead and do all the walking I want take stairs. He says, you can walk 10 or 12 miles a day if you want. And I'm thinking, well, I didn't do that before, so I don't think I'll be doing it now. <laughs> but anyway, um, I go back again in a month. I go right after Thanksgiving. And I'll still be wearing my, it's a wrap that goes all the way around me. So I'll still have that on. And then, yeah, that was the two blues. And I'm going to pick these pinks. Oh, I need to go to the yellows next. Because I have a few areas where I added some yellow. So I've got yellow 
and then I've got light brown. And these are both colors that we used before. So the beak, these little pieces, this, and then there's some down here, and there's also some over here. Let's go ahead and do this real quick while I've got it pulled up. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to do the brown right there. You know, even my little almost four year old granddaughter would say, on the color wheel, yellow is opposite of purple. So you know they're going to go good together. So that's why we knew we could use those, those two colors here. Okay, and then I'm just going to do here a little bit. And then also that yellow is here on these flower centers. And then I'm going to do the bottom in this brown. Okay. Then in this one, I'm going to do the body again, what was underneath, and then up here, and just a bit on the face, inside of the antenna, inside coming out, coming out, like the corner areas, and then outside edges outside edges but anyway so I go back in a month and um, weight limit is now 20 pounds instead of 10 I can drive when I feel like I'm gonna have a fast enough response time but there's still not a lot of twisting right at the waist so I really don't feel comfortable driving yet because I cannot twist and turn and really see the traffic good. So I'll just wait on that, which is no big deal. All right, so we did that. Um, that took, oh, up here. Yeah. Just doing the little fatter edge on all these. My next video will be a book review. Some of y'all know Jane Mayday, and um, I did get one of her recent books in the mail, so that's going to be coming up. Let's do light orange all over here. And then all over here and here. Then I'm going to move to orange. Yeah, I haven't seen my in-laws um, in, gosh, two weeks since before surgery. So when my mother-in-law's on the phone, she'll be like, did Pam have surgery? She did, right? Yeah. Is she okay? Yeah. So um, I should be able to travel out with hubby next time he goes and be able to see them. Um, today we actually went to the doctor early and then went to a memorial. Our daughter's best friend's mom passed. So we went for that. And then I'm moving over to, do you like how I jump subjects? Um, to red orange. So then um, after that, then we ate lunch with all of them because we, she actually, Nikki actually calls us mom and dad. And her mom used to introduce us as the other mom and dad. So she, um, it was just a different kind of relationship there. But anyway, we're glad to take her and her siblings in as ours. Um, yeah, so when we were finished eating, I was tired, came home, went to bed, and slept for almost two hours. <laughs> so I was so tired. Uh, let's see, what else are we gonna hit? These pinks, let's go on these pinks. 
So I have three different pinks. And again, these are all Crayola. Pink, Tickle Me Pink, and Magenta. So you can see where I did the pink in all of these. Did them on both sides. Whoops, there, let me get all the way in. There we go. Did them on both sides. Then my next color, I did Tickle Me Pink here. And then I'm going to bring Tickle Me Pink down here. This needs to be darker because it's coming out from behind. Okay, go ahead and let it come out a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some right across here, but I don't want it to come up and blend into this. Okay, if it comes up and blends into it, we'll lose that edge and it will be one of those lost edges. So, let's go ahead and do this. And then we're doing just a little bit across here. So anyway, yeah, we've just, it was a full, full day. So I thought, oh, why not do videos tonight? Tomorrow is Saturday and there's nothing in the queue anyway. So I needed to get one done and I'm awake. So let's do it. Okay, now my third shade, which is my magenta. And I'm going to come in here and get all these little bits. Just add the dark in where the very edges are. Okay. That's just going to make that edge pop forward a little bit. And then here, I'm going to go just a little squiggle right up the middle, right up through there. Okay, and then all these little dots are also going to be this magenta. There's lots of places in here where you could use glitter gel pens if you wanted. I just decided I was going to do the whole page with pencils. I'm probably not going to try to do the background on this. When I finish with this, it's probably going to be finished. I don't think I really want to add a lot of other things to it. Um, I did forget here, I'm using the red orange to do all these little dots. Ooh, I hear it rumbling out there. It's not real bad. It's still in the distance, so I should be all right. There we go. Finish that off. Then we're going to move over to the purples. Now, with the purples, the butterflies don't match. And we're just going to do one, and then we'll slide over and do the other one. So I took lilac and I did all this, okay? Then I took, next color is blue violet and I did this area. And then I'm gonna add some here. I already did it on this side. And then I'm gonna add some here coming back. right through here, get that little area. This is underneath, so get it. Just get all the little edges that are tucked under. Okay, same thing here. And then I'm gonna do some across the top. And what that does is just makes that look like it's a little rounded up there. Okay. I'm looking over here to see if I missed anything. I think that's about all I did there. I am going to come back and add just a little bit more of that lilac in here. Make sure it's covered. 
Okay, then the other color I'm going to go to is Plum. I like Plum. Crayola Plum is a nice color. And do you see how if I don't add Plum here, this edge and this edge just blends together? So I am going to add Plum all the way under that edge. Okay? And then here are the tips. And then this one is a little bit over the top of this one. So I'm going to get a little bit here right underneath. Okay? And that's basically it for this butterfly. It's not a hard one. And again, if you're coloring along, you know you can pause it, go back and watch it again, whatever. Hopefully y'all are re-watching some of these and sharing them with your friends. So that's the only way my channel is going to grow. So... The lilac is all of this, then blue violet is going to be what's next, so here and underneath, and then all of this, all of this, right here. And then I'm going to come through here. Now, the thing is, do you notice how this is the same color? So we've talked about lost edges. I don't want this all blended together like one thing. So this is where I'm going to come back with the plum and find that lost edge. Go right on the outside of that edge. And now it looks like this is tucked back behind that. Okay? I'm going to also use my plum here a bit just to lift this front piece up while I'm pushing the piece I'm coloring to the back. Now the other thing you can do too is anytime you've got something overlapping like that, you can go ahead and put a little bit there too. It just shows that that's in front of it. And really, y'all, I think that's it. I think I've done everything. If there's something I missed, let me know. Oh, yeah, right here with the plum. Oh, and there was one thing that I do have to use um, some marker for. I'm going to get these Hippie Crafters out. We'll see. I didn't prime it or anything. I guess I should. On the strawberries. These should all be little yellow bits. So these are the Hippie Crafter paint pens, paint markers. They come with two different tips. And I did do a review on them, so if you missed that, you can go back and catch it. I don't use paint pens a whole lot, but they are great for little areas like this. You know, you got to get that little bit in there. It would have been that or a gel pen. They're also really good if you do rock painting. Okay, now are we finished? Are we? Are we? Nope, not yet. Uh, I just found something else. See, that's why it's not finished till you're finished. The face here. I did the lightest of the pinks for the heart. And then, I hope you were able to see when I just did those strawberries. I did all the little dots. So, now I'm finishing this up. Coming in with my medium. And went right there. Now let's look and see if there's anything else. I think I'm good with leaving all these bits just with the background showing through. I don't usually do that, so it's something very different for me, but I think I like that look. Alrighty, so that's it for this video. 
there wasn't just a whole lot to finish up, but do take your time if you're doing this. Let me know if you did this page or not. Uh, let me know what your favorite thing was on this page. All right, so next video, how to journal like an artist. Yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, I will see y'all back here in a few days. Bye.